Machine Freaks, I hope you're feeling super fly and froggy fresh to death. Today we're gonna work on this gator. Just like we've been working on this for the last couple Tuesdays here, I upload at 8 p.m. But usually actually before that because you guys wanna see the video, so I upload it sooner. If you're not familiar with the Gator, the Gator came with a nine horse engine, single cylinder engine, and that currently is sitting right there. We upgraded that single cylinder nine horse engine up to double the cylinders, double the horsepower, and put an 18 horse. After the first ride, the first probably half a mile riding the thing, we seized the thing up. So now, third time around, we put a 600cc snowmobile engine, two stroke, liquid cooled, fuel injected. Today I want to get rid of some of this raw material. As you can see, it's nice and clean. If we ride this anytime in the future, I want this to be at least primed. We're becoming more and more organized in the shop lately. The new garage, I like the collection we got going on here. And I especially like the fact that I found that. So in the last three machines production, a lot of people were saying in the comment section that the radiator is going to get plastered with mud. Now in a lot of four wheelers, that actually is the case. I mean, granted the radiator is between two wheels and not just one, but this wheel has to throw it here and here before it can get to the back of the radiator. So it's really the best we can do. We can't really build a shroud here because this face moves and it just won't work. Luckily the back of the radiator has a fan and a plastic shroud on that, so the back of the radiator shouldn't get too dirty. Am I gonna let the location of the radiator deter me from sending it? No. on this set, those players just didn't have it out. I gotta get this gear selector out of this position because where it's at right now is it's hitting this air filter and that's no good. And then also I won't be able to make any kind of lever mechanism to make that thing actually work. So I just, I just need to get it off. And I'm sure there's a few of you that are wondering like what's up with my arms like why am I all broken out? I have eczema and what that means is like if I have a poor diet or if I'm under like a lot of stress then I'll break out like I am right now. It's just for the house and then not having enough time to eat right is really you know screwed me up. In my opinion this thing doesn't even need a pin. It's not coming out. Here's the shifting lever, and there's the shifting shaft. What I'm thinking about doing is actually just coming up between these two right here, going somewhere around the top of the thermostat right here, and then just make a mechanism right here that you can shift. Because this thing's going to be an automagic, and there's no point in having a gear shifter here. I mean, granted, it would be more convenient, but conveniency isn't always the coolest thing. I think something that you shift on top of the engine would be much more cool, much more custom, and it would give it a little bit of a spice. I like spice. But while I was messing with this transmission here, I realized I only have one bolt on the transmission, and that's down there, that bolt right there. We need to mount this thing at least one more place. Two would be more ideal. It's just a little bit more tricky though because we have an awesome Braptastic engine in the way. Luckily I had that piece in my pile. This is the pile. What's really cool about this system is the fact that it bolts on everywhere and um, since it's on a linear thing here, since it has two points there, it can't really, it can't at all uh, twist. Like my fingernail polish.
just another seat support. It sits out so far, it's, it just needs support. Tell you what, Jason came prepared. Look at this. I just installed the brakes. Currently working on a battery box. Have the gas tank out so we have easy accessibility to that. Jason's killing it over here on the coolant game. He's got the coolant uh, lines ran. Uh, he's been hesitant about this and if this is gonna work or whatever. We're being extremely thorough and we're making lists and stuff and being really, really efficient. We actually went to the, the parts place and Jason's got this nice list here, okay? Nice list, nice big list. We get to, what, on the throughway. I'm like, Jason, where's the list? We left it, we left it on the tire. While we were eating lunch, we had to come up with the same list via our minds. But I think we got it, right? Uh... Why are you gonna scare me like that? <laughs> Got most of the wiring harness going. I want to keep it low because I'm concerned about the heat coming off the expansion chamber. So we're going to try to keep everything as low as we can, but the problem with that is it puts it in the reach of our feet. Well, just don't be kicking. Well, we're gonna, I mean, we're going to tidy it up a little bit more. Do we need a whole <laughs> handle for the feet, too? No. Check this out. He, in, he did install the RPM gauge, which is really cool, but it's not an Arctic cat. It's an Arctic, what? Arctic gator? It's an Arctic deer. Arctic deer. Once everything is run and tested, then we can some, make it. Get some hose clamps and we'll tie it to the to the well. Yeah, yeah. Out of the way. Right now, this is like for the first spin. Got to make sure the system works, and you know, once it works, then you can make it look even better, work even better, everything's better. All right, I'm currently working on the other air filter of the Gator here. As you can see, I have this air filter on. The other one, I need to do some drilling on. But before we get to that, I have the gas tank back installed. I have the lines ran kind of just out of the sorts right now. I have this shifter installed. This just hover, hovers over the engine here. Then you get to reverse. Then over here you got uh, forward. And you got neutral in the middle, which is hard to find. There it is. What I have to do over here is replicate these holes in one of the filters. This filter right here. I have to drill those three little holes right here. So that way we have a sensor that senses the temperature, right? The inside of the temperature on this thing? That's what it does? No, the air flow. I thought it was temperature. No, it, it so it heats up the little resistor that's in there and the amount of air that goes by it cools it down. And that's how I can tell how fast the, the air is going. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna put one of those, I'm gonna put three holes right here. I bought this new set of bits. I, I'm a big fan of cobalt, so I bought some cobalt bits. These are from uh, Harbor Dog. But uh, so far, I've used four of these and they've been pretty good. Just got to find the two right bits and then put our holes in. I understand what I said and I actually did our two different things, but uh, we had to do it like this. And that's all that matters! Couple updates here. I guess our kill switch isn't the best. So when you turn this on, we have voltage. Push all the way down, no voltage. And then when you go all the way up, no voltage. So we're hoping that all the bumps aren't gonna affect that, you know, from turning everything on and off when we ride this thing. We are getting ready for our first start. Got only three springs on the exhaust right now. No other mounting at this point. It's just gonna kinda jump around as we do. We're gonna put it in neutral and pull this thing. How many pulls? One or two? No, actually I'm gonna say, say five because the, the pump has to get pumping. Ready? Uh, so we got, okay, so we're on. On. 
Fuel's hooked up. Yeah, I think we're ready. We're in neutral. You sure about that? Yeah. There's five. Here. What's the matter? I don't hear the fuel pump yet. Can we come up with some sort of just jumper system for now to put power to that? Mm -hmm. Just to put some, uh, yep. do that. You want to have the honors of pulling it? Because the fuel right. pump works. Codes are gone, we've got fuel pump. Are we in neutral? Let's... I didn't move it. Yep, we're good. minutes later. Just get ready to push that thing. Just get ready to push that thing if we can't stop. Change the spring real quick. You have a lighter one? Yeah, I think so. Here, let's put this guy back on. It's only a couple 10 millimeter screws, I think. New lighter spring? No, this is old. That should have enough to take that cover off. Yep, see? I love that thing. I haven't used that thing in like two years. Good looking one. Very handsome. Is it quick? Dude, it throws you back. The front wheel wants to do this, and like, it's only like a third of the way there. Hmm. Imagine if we put an exhaust on that. Dude, I'm pumped. Like, my adrenaline is running. I don't think they can appreciate how loud it is. <laughs> That's why I got these in. <laughs> you need these. I could use a second pair. I could put what you were wearing over these. <laughs> we definitely need to do an exhaust. I think the RPM is right. I think it's probably at about four, and then in the gauges, that's how snowmobile is. So, we'll keep that spring, John Deere green, and um, we'll just have to get an exhaust on it, and we gotta get the hell out of the city, because we're gonna get the capital on us for sure. So we're gonna go find a field? Yeah. Right now? 